welcome back to another episode. We're out here on the Shallow Sport X3 Bay Boat. Today is Atlantic Red Snapper season. We only get two days all year to keep them. So it's mid-July right now. Today's open and tomorrow it's the afternoon. We've got Sarah here, Eric's here, Landon's behind the camera. With a little luck, we'll catch one. With a lot of luck, we'll catch four, which will be our limit. Before leaving the marina, KLX gave us some bait there. Colby gave us a few scoops of pilchers. We got a few live baits. We also got some dead bait. We got squid, we got palahu, we got bonita. We got some of our bottom rods paired up with some pen fathoms. We're gonna get a set up here in a minute. We're gonna kind of check our drift out and see what happens. So stay tuned. Hopefully we'll a red snapper up here soon. Dropping these all the way down to the bottom. You can get a, you can get a mutton snapper here, jacks, vermilion snappers, but red snapper is the main target today. So you can't keep them but two days a year out here. In some areas they catch tons of them. We do catch some here in the Keys, you no know, Almorada specifically, but not uh, not as many as some other places on the East Coast where we get tons of them. But the Gulf of Mexico, that's where they really really get them all. I had a bite right away and I missed them. I blame Landon. He goes, "You played me for that, said Jeff." <laughs> Going back down. Ah. Sarah's getting bites, I'm getting bites. Come on, buddy. Yeah, the right one's from up there. We want a nice rib snapper. We had to use a trawl motor to get back on top of the spot. A few little nibbles, but they didn't eat them, but scratched them up on top of his head there. Eric just caught a juvenile scamp grouper. Too small to keep, but it's a sign of life at least. I'm on bottom. Sarah's going back down. We didn't plug the trolling motor and I think the batteries are dying. It keeps shutting off. The elusive red snap. Yep. Go back down. I got the only red snapper and we're putting it back down. Well, it might be a vermilion. Here it comes, whatever you got. It doesn't look very red. That might be a vermilion. The old vermilion snapper. Red in color, good. but just not a red snapper. I'll tell you what, the kids leave that one up there. You can see, look at the hook there. Their mouth, there's a BKK hook there. Their mouths are so soft, you know, it really tears a big hole in there, so. Crazy, but. They'll be a keeper, not a big one, but 12 inches anyhow, so. We and him are going back down. We still need a red snapper. I think it's a Benita to live filter on top. Never know though, he's racing quick. Oh, he just came off right there. He was chasing it up. Yeah, it might have been blood coming out of his mouth, yeah. I think he was coughing it up, we lost him. Swim buddy, be free. This is the left-handed conventional on the slow pitch rod. We're not slow pitch jigging, but it is awkward on the left side since we're used to the right side always. We don't have any normal rods on this boat. <laughs> no, Eric has one. As soon as we hit bottom, I had bites instantly. They might want dead today, not live. Got one, I'm gonna try to go down and get two. And the Vermilions, you saw that last hook set. They can shake off and come up there, but big old 10, 15 pound reds never come to their knees, it will be in good shape. I'm not coming up in this deep of water with one of the Vermilion. Here I'm coming up with multiples or none, no bait. What happened on my bait? All the bait's gone. When we get it back up, it looks like it gets covered in shark bites. As soon as we hit bottom, we got a bite. Last time I got greedy, it all came off, but. See if we can't double up here. Oh, yeah. We've had two bites, we got three baits, so we're gonna see if we get one more bite. We're hooked up here. I'm not ambidextrous, so this is tricky, tricky to crank with the left side, but it twerks a high speed reel, so it goes quick. Actually, I was coming up off the bottom and he was Oh, no. Oh, I got color, Landon. Here we come. We got color. Get him, Sarah. Sarah's hooked up and I'm hooked up. I might have a double header. Here we go. We got color. Oh, I got a triple. A oh, double. Two undersized vermilion snappers. Yeah, but too small. We have to let him go. Yeah. Let's see what we got, guys. Grouper? Is it a red snapper? 
It's a vermilion! A vermilion snapper. He might make the mark, he's not big, but I don't know if he's gonna make it actually. He ate the entire pilcher though. Was that pilcher or squid? Pilcher. He ate the whole pilcher, but I think it's too small. Too small. Throw a surface bait out. Never know, tuna, sailfish, mahi, something like that can eat. We're not giving up yet. Rob's on his way down. We've caught one keeper of a million and threw back a few shorts and Eric let go a small scamp group. Oh, got him on. Rob's on the phone, it must be good luck. Dude, he's pulling good. This might be our rip snapper here. Please, please be a rip snapper. It's a long way, it's a long way down, 250 feet. But we did get a good bite here. Hopefully it's a rip snapper. Eric's getting a bite too? Hopefully their snappers are not like Jack's. We've got color, here he comes, look in the water. Pretty please be a red snapper. Is it a red snapper? We got yes. one guys, nice yeah. One we got one for dinner. Woof. We got one. So he's not a monster, but he's a decent one. He's a four or five pounder. That is the target species. The old red snapper of Almorada. Oh, he's getting tired of cranking left handed there. But beautiful fish, we can only keep him like we said, two days a year and uh, we'll be good to go. So, in the box he goes. Look at that. We're gonna bleed him too. Oh, all you guys, said we need to bleed him more. Gonna cut right around the gills there. Put a little bit of blood. Put around some ice. He's getting nervous. Bumped it, didn't eat it though. Must be a little one. Oh, there He's you go. There He's you go, now there. you got him. Now you got him. Oh no. It might be two. She's only, she caught one a couple years ago. We didn't catch any last year, we didn't try for him. He just had a nice bite. He didn't eat it, he grabbed it and ran for a second. They're picking it up, you know, they're mouthing it. Probably some small ones to grab it, we need a decent one to grab it and eat it. Oh. Oh, there we go. There we go. have one? Yeah. Oh. Everyone is hooked up right now. So you got yours, Eric? We just need, hey, we can keep one per person for the Atlantic Red Snapper, so we can keep four. Well, Landon needs to catch his to be legal. He can't catch his four. I'll catch his form. <laughs> we'll tag team him. Oh yeah. All right, Sarah's is floating up. Hopefully there'll be a red snapper for us. She caught one before, a couple years ago. Here it comes, there's no telling what it is. A snapper? Oh yeah, nice one, Sarah. You know, they're not monsters, you guys, but they're mediums. We'll take them. Here comes Eric's too, but another red snapper right there for sassy Sarah. And here comes Eric's. You got one too. You got one too. Or she's a mutton. Yeah. Red snapper, right? There you go, good job, E-Money. Eat. They're not monsters, but you know they're- They'll eat. There's mediums in the leap. Everyone's gonna have dinner. I'm getting bites on here, so. Oh yeah, Feel, look at him thumping it, you guys. He's thumping it good. Yep, we just had to find the right spot. I'm gonna leave him down there for a minute though, but watch that rad tip. Just watch the tip. See it thumping? Oh, See it no, thumping? That's all right. You know, we came out here, we said we wanted to catch him. We came out yep. here and we did it. 50 feet to go. Here we go, we got color. We've got color. One more, we can have our limit. Is it a big vermilion? It's a vermilion. It's a big vermilion. Nice. It ain't even a red snapper. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. <laughs> That's a good vermilion there, you That's guys. That's a nice one there. That's a good vermilion snapper. That's a real one for shallow water. I mean, sometimes because she's in 500 feet, but you know, we're like 250 right now. It'll be good. We've got three in the boat. We're allowed four. Oh, there's a bite right there. Missed him. He just grabbed it and shook for a second. Here he's coming back. We can keep four. We want one more for dinner. Because Landon needs one too. That might be him, guys. That's him. Nick I got dropped, three hooks though. Nick dropped his bait down so fast to catch the fourth one. <laughs> he lapped us. We were trying, we were just kind of like getting ready, and I'm not even gonna try because he's got three hooks on his and I'm gonna sabotage. Did you get this one? <laughs> yeah. Did you get this one? There's one on there, but. You never, it could be a vermilion, and the vermilions are cool, but the red snapper's what we really want. And we want a limit, you know, we want one more. They're just mediums, you know, they're small mediums, they're not big, but. Look at them thumping, look at them thumping. We're just turning and burning slowly here. Still in pain, that's some surgery pain. We got color, here they come. All I know is we can keep four. We only got July 14th and 15th, I believe. Today's the 14th, I think, to keep them. And Looks just like one. 
So it'll be good, it'll be our limit. Looks like a decent red snapper though. Oh, red. Red snapper. Number four. We got our limit of red snapper. American red snapper, genuine American red snapper. These are not uh, not monsters, but they're mediums. And I mean, if that was a mangrove snapper or like a mutton, I'd be stabbed all day and I'd probably eat about 18 inch fish. Now they're gonna be good. We don't get to keep these, you guys, but two days an entire year here on the Atlantic coast of Florida. We're down here in the Keys, but you can see that red eyeball there. Pretty colors. Sometimes we get them as shallow as like 150 or 200, but a lot of times they're out in 250 to 350. He's gonna eat good. That's what we want to do. We want to come out here and catch them differently. Can't keep them. Had to move spots. Third spot was the charm, though. We got them. So, welcome aboard. In the box. Welcome aboard. We're going to see if we can't finish up the day, maybe like with a mutton snapper. Something like that. Trying to get a mutton. A couple of drifts here. He had a bite right when he hit bottom, but you can get him. No bites for me. So, I think we're going to move and try one more spot before we call it a day. Just ran back in on the X3 here. We're going by Houseboat Row. I know I've said it before, but we've got five houseboats here available for rent. We got the Sailfish, the Lucky Lady, the Mama Linda, the Aqua Lodge, and the Swordfish. Plus there's like eight or 10 hotel rooms and a couple of small houses. So if you want to come down on a fishing trip, come to Bud and Mary's, check it out. You know, there's not a big res it's not a big resort or anything fancy, but it's a great place to stay, get up early, go fishing, go hang out. You got good restaurants within walking distance. Lazy Days is right there. And plenty of places to drive within a couple of minutes. So. We're gonna get in here tied up, wash the boat down, soap it, and uh, go clean some fish, get ready for dinner. It's gonna hurt. That's why my shoulder's feeling out. It's not the fun part, but it's the other part of fishing and owning a boat, you gotta clean it. We got the blue wave here. We've been using it the last year, you guys. It's been really good. This is just their complete boat wash. We'll use their rust remover. We've been using their fish box cleaner to get rid of some stinky smells, and uh, we're gonna scrub this boat down now. Bear's here, Eric's here, Landon's behind the camera. We got the hose going. Jamaican Mike just showed up. He saw the red snappers. He's fired up. He says, I'm going to cook them. So we got a special dish coming your way. We're going to go over there and see how Mike wants to prep them and get ready for tomorrow night. Clean, clean. I'll clean it up nice. Yeah, you know? Nice and proper. Yeah, <laughs> nice and proper. Yeah, man, clean it up nice and proper. You know, real proper. Yeah, man, them snapper, I look delish. 50,000 yeah. subs at 3.30. I never knew who it was, you know, and just find out who, who it is. That's a hot, that's, that's, that picture is fire, yo, rude boy. Look at that. Yo. I love right. it. Yeah, I but think I might scale him too. Yeah, easier to scale them before you cut the belly is what you taught me, right? You yeah, it's, it's good to scale him first, yes. Yeah. So two days a year, the entire year, we get two days to keep them. And what, what kind of snapper are they? Genuine red snapper. <laughs> In the Gulf of Mexico, it gets lots of them. And some places in the Atlantic, they get tons of them too. Like They're almost a nuisance in some areas. Here we catch some, they're not like millions of them here, but yeah. Them. Oh, you got me, pinch you that, you just got me too. Oh, you got got. Yeah, I got got, yo. Yeah. Yeah, so since I got God, I'm gonna cook him up real proper, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get last laugh now. <laughs> yeah, you see it? Yeah, I'm on a fire for you. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm filleting a couple of them. Mike's gonna gut and scale a couple of them, but you can just see that white meat there. We bled them out, so they're gonna be super yummy. Yeah, I'm on, you know? So, I don't know if it's a knife or he's got a bone here, but yeah, I got you it. Yeah, you see that? Got a little bit with the gill. The gill's them sharp. It's real pretty. There. Yeah, it's real pretty, real proper. It's a piece of the gill left in there. I'll grab out the. Mike's making it proper. I know y'all been yeah. missing him, and Mike is back in the kitchen this time. <laughs> yeah, man. I was thinking I'd go cook full time again, you know? <laughs> it's been hot outside. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I was coming up with it. I'm not going to lie, brother. I was coming up with an idea the other day. Yeah, I was coming to the idea because I'm like, yo, and it'd be a big hit. So I was going to do a Jamaica Mike jerk subs. That'd be good. Yeah, I'd have jerk chicken sub. Jerk beef sub, jerk pork sub. Yo, I'm gonna tell a fish sub. Let's switch it yeah, up, you know? Fish sub would be good. Yeah, man, I'm gonna say, yo, that would be a big thing. I want, tell me, if, tell me, guys, tell me if we do a Jamaican Mike jerk sub. Chug Subway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. So we're getting the snappers bagged up. Yeah, you see it. Mike got them all prepped, scaled them, gilled them, gutted them. We filleted a few of them. Eric's gonna take some home for him and his family, so we're gonna bring home a few fillets of the Vermilions to feed the kids as well. And we will see you guys tomorrow yeah. back at the Stan's household. Boom, boom, yeah, one. To make a mic in the house, guys. Respect. Say something, say something. Yeah, man.
Yeah, man. All right, nice. I rinse them off now. It's like from the marina now. You bring it in the kitchen. Kind of clean it up a little more, you know? All right, that's nice and clean. Yeah. Boom. So right now, I'm getting ready to um, uh, spinach. A lot of vegetables, you know? Carrots. Yeah. So, you know, I had to get two. This is the key lime from Keys. This is the key lime from in the Keys right here. I'm going to cut these. Ah, boom, get some water, put that in there. So make them nice and fresh. There it is. Yeah, you know my style already, guys, you know? You gotta make sure you're washing the lime juice. It take off some of the fishiness. So it's kind of make it a little fresher, you know? See so the clean up the stomach with it. That's a good thing to do. See that, you see how making it clean and nice? And just a quick rinse over, you know? Nothing crazy. So I'm going to two yard style fish right now. Two style me I get them, you know? So one style gonna be a roast fish. Where I put it in the aluminum file, you know? Put it in the oven. And then the other one gonna be a steam fish. We're gonna steam it down with, with vegetables, you know? Welcome back to the kitchen. Jamaican Mike is here. We yeah, got yeah, a yeah. red snapper hole that he's gonna cook up and uh, put the Jamaican touch on. He's getting them all cleaned up, all nice and proper. Just gave him the lime bath. So the key lime, right? Key lime with some water? Yeah, yeah, Kind definitely. of wash them down, get rid of some of that fishiness. We got a couple of fillets, some of the vermilion, another part of the red snapper in the air fryer right now for the girls because the girls are rambunctious right now. They are hungry, hangry, and pushing, landing around, just trying to film a lot of stuff. So we're gonna feed them real quick, but the adults are gonna feast on these. And you guys are in for a treat. Well, I brought some hot peppers, but they're not as hot. These are not the real scotch bonnet. But the steam fish, I'm gonna put a hot pepper in there. It won't be hot like that. It will be, I'm gonna put it in holes so it doesn't burst. So it won't have no hot flavor coming off it. So I'm gonna put some slice on it. So it's, it's cooked right through, you know? You put some slice on it, it's better. And first thing anyway, you want to kind of season up the fish, you know? So I got the Everglades. I'm gonna put some of this in there. So I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use some of his lares and I like this, the natural season. This look good. I'm gonna put a little salt on it too, you know? You gotta have the flavor, you see it? A little bit of salt right there. Yeah, and then I'm gonna try this one on there. I like the smell of it. It's flavorful. Yeah, and this season they call Vegeta or Vegeta? I can't pronounce it. It's good. It's got good flavor. Sprinkle a little of this on there. So basically, just season up the fish and thing, you know? Season that up. This one gonna go in the oven. Yeah, I'm calculating as I go, you know? I'm gonna calculate as I go. Let me see. That's for fitting on the pot. You gotta make sure you fit another pot, you know? Oh. Oh, not bad, it fits, right? Well, guess what? With this one, I'm gonna cut it in two. So this one, I'm gonna cut. Salt. No, this one is not. Uh, it's just a lot of flavor. I'm gonna put flavor in it, you know? So, you know? Is this cheating? <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I fried some up in the air fryer for the kids. We have to feed them, they're hungry. Yeah, that's not cheating, that's just... Quick and easy, right? Yeah. But look how white that is. It's pretty. That's red snapper there, beautiful. I don't remember the last time I had red snapper. Been a very long time. So we got one little bit of red snapper on one side, some vermilion on the other. But we're gonna let this cool off and go feed the kids here. It's gonna be delicious too. Sweet. But that's yes. the real deal there. Oh man. That's the real <laughs> deal right there. Wait, wait. Yeah, it's gonna be good. So first thing, um, we get a nice piece size aluminum foil. You gotta go with the size of the fish, you know. So. Depending, so I'm gonna go big, so you know. Well, here's one thing though, you have to grease the aluminum for it, but the fish will stick on it. What I'm gonna do is use, I'm gonna use some Nick oil, so check it. Just put a little oil on there, like that. So this is it, I'm gonna grease this up, you know. Rubbing some oil and butter on here because this will prevent the fish from sticking on it. So then I come over here and I'll drop the fish on here. You see that? So you see that? Let's lock in some butter right there. I'm gonna put some butter in the middle. So this one, most times, most Jamaicans, they put all kind of vegetables. But I'm just gonna go with spinach. I'm gonna stuff the inside with spinach. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stuff the spinach right inside of the fish like that. See that, guys? So we're gonna, might have to add another piece to it. But yeah, since you see, I got it like that. I'm gonna fold it in. And we just gonna wrap them up like that. You can see? Yeah, it's like, it's like putting the fish in the casket, you know, and they're going in the oven. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's this burial right here. Yeah, it's a burial. <laughs> so now it's secure. Nothing's going to leak out. It's kind of secure, you know. 
And you said it over and on, Nick? Yep, 400. 400 is good, I like that. 400 good or something? Yeah, 400 is good. Yeah, nice. And then, yeah, boom like that. Put them on a pan. Because it will drain a little too, you know, so put it in a pan. And it just comes to a boom. Put it over. This Which one, Nick? This one? one yeah. yeah, and just put it right in the oven. This one. Yeah, 20, 30 minutes. Boom. And then another style Jamaican love their fish is called a steam fish. So right now I'm gonna cut up some vegetables and prepare them up and we'll come back with that, you know? Yeah. So this one gonna have potatoes, chayote. The Jamaica call it chocha, like it's um and then and in Spanish they call it chayote. So they peel them up nice and go in there. Yeah man, and a couple carrots. Boom. So let me get this in the way now. Oh, I got some okra too, man. And it's gonna be a whole nother dish. It's like a Rastaman dish right here, you know? Good flavor, I like that. Fresh thyme is good. I could take, you know, you know, like I could take the, it look better, you know? There's some green, some green onions, some scallions. Put that up, you know? I'm gonna put the pepper in it, a whole pepper in there. It won't be hot though. Yeah, respect. Which one, medium? Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can put it on high for now. We're going to high. Yeah, for now, yeah. See it now. Oh yeah, for, for, perfect. Yeah, well everything I'm gonna do first, I'll put it in the, the, the potatoes and the chayote and stuff, but those take longer to cook, so you wanna get those in first, you know? And then um, some carrots, you know? Yeah, get the butter melt all right there. But you wanna put these in first, guys. You wanna kinda have the potatoes. It's a whole meal, trust me. So you want to have the potatoes and the chayote and the carrots in there. I want to cook that for like a little bit first. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I got a big metal. Oh, perfect. That is like the Jamaican cover right there, bro. Yes. Yeah, man, it's a good Jamaican pot cover right here. This is the pot cover we like in Jamaica right here. Oh, it works. works. Yeah, man, it's going to work. Trust me, I already know by looking at it, Nick. Yeah, man, I tell you, this is, this is a Jamaican pot cover right here. This is gonna work, yeah, trust me. Bum, bum, bum. Watch how it gonna work now, Nick. Watch how it gonna work now. See All that? Right. See it was that part. That's the right one. Back here for a little bit. I do mine a little different. Most people just put everything, they put water, and let it kinda, you know, but I wanna saute it down a little bit. Anyway, let me put the rest of the vegetable right now. Yeah. And this is a pepper, but it's not too hot. It's good. Put it in whole like that. Oh, I forgot the whole spice. I gotta have some whole spice in it. Now when I crush them out, I'm gonna put these one in a little hole. So I gotta put a couple whole spice in it. Yeah. Too much. All right, so, all right, once I got all the vegetable and stuff, I'm gonna have to cook halfway a little bit. And then come in now, you know? You see that? I'm gonna put the fish in it. Yeah. And then plus I know, put the fish in it, you know? Yeah. And then watch what will happen now. And then, here comes the saute. I'm not gonna forget it this time. Put some black pepper on there, you know? Yeah. You see, I'm gonna cover it now, guys. This when I open this pot again, it's gonna be bubbling so good. So yeah, but you have to turn the fish over. So this is good now. This is setting everything in. Some vegetables on top of it. It's gonna go on the roast fish. I'm gonna put this on top. Just a little bit of water right there. And I'm gonna go with some butter. All right, perfect. And I'm gonna drop him right over here. Real quick. Yeah, you know? Alright, so we'll put him on the stove top. We can go on the stove top, right, Nick? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so open it up and see what happens now. It's hot still, no, guys. Gotta be careful. Boom. Oh, man. Yeah, I think you're ready. Oh, yeah. I think you're ready, Nick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna taste it too. It's good to go. It's nice and ready. Oh, yeah. It's delicious. So, right now, this is okra and spinach. I'm just gonna steam it down. And um, I'm gonna put it on top of the roast fish, you know? Yeah. So I mix the okra with some spinach. Sadie wants yeah. to be Rapunzel, she said, so we clipped it to her hair, but Claire oh. keeps trying to yank it out. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> go follow it. Get her no, no, don't get on oh, it. Funny. Yeah. Girls. The roast fish. So now you just open it up like that. Open up all of that. Like that. See all that spinach inside. And then this, what I did. This is a real Jamaican style, so I made the, the okra and the spinach. And now what we do, we put this on top of the fish. Yeah. This is, oh man, I like it. Just put it all up. Sarah got to see this. Yeah. That this, looks good, Mike. Thank you. Yeah. I know Sarah gonna like this because she. What'd you okra put in there with the spinach? There's the spinach and okras. Those are the okras mixed together, huh? Yeah, the okra, the spinach. Seeds, huh? 
Yeah, all the seeds. So this is a Jamaican dish right here. Yeah, man, it's a real Jamaican style. This is real better than my normal fried fish, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this is one of the. Deal. Yeah, Jamaicans love their fish like this. So, right. yeah, and you just put the vegetable on top. And this could be a one man meal, man. You'll sit down and eat this. <laughs> You're a big man. Hey. Right. And don't forget to enter our giveaway. We're giving away three apparel packs by the end of July mm. here. You got a hat, a cotton shirt, a sun gator, and a pair of shorts. So sign up. The link will be below in the video description. Go ahead and enter. It's free. We're going to have three apparel packs, and uh, hopefully you guys like the gear. Check it out. There it is. It's ready. Rose fish, fried paper style, boom, bam, ready to eat. And then I got the steam fish ready. So that's it. The two meal right there, guys. It's steam a, fish. It's a red snapper. Red snapper. Nice. We get two days a year. And uh, yesterday we caught them, today's the last day, and we didn't go fishing for them today. See, it's like a little pearl, I'll take it out. See that? Yo! Whoa, it got jelly around it. See the eyeball with the jelly? Should I eat it, Nick? Yeah, try the eyeball. See the eyeball come out and then with the jelly oh, on Sarah it. Sarah wants the eyeball. Sarah, you want to try the eyeball? No. And it got the pearl, but I can't eat the pearl, but I eat the jelly part. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. And then that's the pearl. You like the eyeball jelly, huh? Mm. Land, you want to try that next? Yeah, man. <laughs> Yo. And then in, in Jamaica, they just take the whole fish head and eat it off. Like you see the fish head and oh, break yeah. it off. Mm. There's a lot more meat it. when you cook fish whole and you get the mm. heads and all that and the throats. They call them the wings there. I better wait. I better wait. You guys haven't even started <laughs> eating yet and I'm in it. But I got to get some of the heads, man. What do you think? Gabby, whether it turned out good? Oh, it turned out beautiful. Wonderful. I love it. And this is, you know, I love the head. Teach some of the meat right there, yeah. Oh, you got that nice little something. Mm. You guys gotta be careful of bones when you eat the fish hole like this. Mm. Wow, right, let's plate it up and go get everyone's opinions. Sweet. Part of this with the spinach and the okra right there. Two different ways, red snapper. You wanna start to sit down here. I already stuck one little bit up there and it was really good. Very moist, great flavor to it. It's just a different way to cook fish, Mike. Good job. Thank you. White it is. Yeah, I'm on. Delicious. It's a good fish, very good, delicious fish too. Delicious. It's enjoy, I enjoy cooking it. And you get a lot more meat there when you cook them whole. We fillet a, fillet a lot of our fish here in America. Yeah. Just kind of where we grew up in the islands, that's where we learned to cook them whole and they really have it down to a science and perfected it. So good oh, job, Mike. Real. Thank Tell you. them what you think though. Tell them what you think. Mm. I think both are good. I actually like the one that you did in the pan better though. Mm -hmm. They're both good, but the one I guess you kind of steamed it. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's. I like them both, but that one's I like that one. Better. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it, that one's a popular one. Oh, it's very good. It's on point. I mean, I was excited about making this dish. Rob is starving. Look at the size of that plate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Nice, Rob. I Rob, is hungry. That. Rob just got back from Costa Rica on his honeymoon. Yeah. This will probably remind you of Costa Rican food. It's like fresh. Flavorful. Oh, really good. Yeah, island style. Very yeah. good, Mike. Yep. Thank very you. good. Nice. Good job, Mike. Respect. Yeah, come on. Much respect. Every time, bro. Yeah, you know. We hadn't cooked in a while. You guys have been asking where Mike's been. Yeah. Busy <laughs> working. We've been busy working. A little bit of filming. Yeah. Life gets in the way. and uh, But we're back in the kitchen tonight. We just had an epic meal here. Yeah, man. I'm glad to be back in the kitchen again, you know, chefing it up. Yeah, man. Big up all the fans. Thanks, everyone, you know. Thanks all the people and the shout out and the love, you know. Much respect, you know. That was a great meal. Good job, Mike. Both are good, but we had to pick one to be better. Just got to watch out for the bones, though. You don't want to bite down on that. Sadie wants Cool Whip and uh, strawberries, so mm -hmm. it's almost dinner time. But hope you all enjoyed that video. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. You know, a lot of you guys were not subscribed, and we've been getting more and more subs. We really appreciate that. A big ratio, though, you know, a big proportion of that. So please hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. it helps the algorithm. We got more videos coming your way, so we'll see you down here in Amrata. Let's get raspberries and strawberries for Sadie. We'll see you all next time.